So every day I come out in the morning and I have a new verse for the day. So we have three different languages on there. We have English and Bambara and French. And it's become more than just a tool for language study. It's also a tool to talk about theology and the content of what's in the verses that we're writing every day. And then whoever comes and goes from our courtyard throughout the day, we talk about the verse with them, if they're open to it. Well, this ministry of just rubbing shoulders with people, being open to helping people talk through their issues, encouraging leadership development in the church, and just really spending time with people, it just fits who we are. So we really enjoy the informal nature of our life and ministry here in Kajolo. We really see our home as our base of ministry, and so the people that are coming and going from our yard are our opportunities from the day to talk to people, to evangelize, to um, offer compassion, to just encourage people in their faith walk. We found at one point that there was so many people, there were so many people coming to our yard that Tom decided to start going to see people where they are. So he does loops during the day and tries to see people in their own um, environment, at their own homes or workplaces. A lot of what I'm doing in the mornings is what I call loops. A loop, I get on the motorbike and I loop and I visit a lot of people. So I visit four or five people. Um, my wife will have some jobs for me to do in the morning. Maybe I need to buy some meat for the day or some tomatoes for the day. It's ministry in terms of language practice and language learning. It's ministry in terms of evangelism, when I'm talking with non-believers and able to share with them about my faith in Christ. It's ministry when I'm sharing with church members and able to encourage them in difficult circumstances. So all those things are facets of this loopy thing that I do. When Lisa finds me grumpy at home and you know needing a day off, she doesn't send me for a day off. She says, get on your motorbike and go see some people because I come back charged every time. And there's always, there's always a time when I go out and I'm down or I'm not sure, you know, about how stuff is going. And that's the day I have the conversation where the gospel is wide open for some of these Playing dominoes enables me to share the gospel. It enables me to model the gospel in some ways, of playing honestly, looking for the best in the other person, helping them play their best. And that sets a good background to be credible and to be understood and to be trustworthy. I am amazed all the time how silly this little thing is of playing dominoes and how deep that relationship has gone. I'm a game player, that's just part of who I am. And I've brought the skills and the gifts God's given to me uh, to be relational with people and hang out. And that's what I'm bringing to this picture and being a missionary. I don't think I'm super talented or special as a missionary, I just think I'm using what God's given me. And I think anybody using the gifts God's giving them is able to be a missionary and work out with the culture. God uses that, God honors it.